Welcome to Oceanic Plus, the world's first dive computer app for your Apple Watch Ultra. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use your Oceanic Plus app while diving. When you're ready to begin your first dive, you must first enter pre-dive mode. Pre-dive is where you have a recap of your dive settings and acknowledge you're fit and ready to dive. This is the most important step to make sure the app is configured properly for the dive. There are three ways to enter pre-dive mode. First is by opening the Oceanic Plus app on your watch and choose the Start Scuba option. Now you're in pre-dive. At this point, the device starts to record sensor data and enters waterlock mode. Turning the crown upwards, you now have a recap of your dive settings. If desired, they can be changed directly from this view while at the surface shallower than one meter or three feet. If the settings look okay, now you can acknowledge you're ready to dive and press dive now. The second method to entering pre-dive mode is if your action button has been programmed to launch Oceanic Plus and you simply press the action button on your Apple Watch Ultra. If not, you'll need to enter the settings menu of your watch to enable this feature. We recommend always having this feature enabled. The third scenario is called Auto Launch. If you've forgotten to enter pre-dive mode using the previous two options, or if you prefer, the Oceanic Plus app will auto launch into pre-dive mode when contacted with water. This feature is only available if auto launch is enabled in your Apple Watch Ultra setting menu. You can change your auto launch settings in both your Apple Watch Ultra and your iPhone Watch app. We also recommend always having this feature enabled when diving is planned. The Oceanic Plus display is easy to read and understand. Your screen is divided into two halves, above and below the no decompression bar graph. Focusing on the upper half of the screen, as you start your descent, you can see the variometer on the top left of your screen indicating your vertical movement in the water. The variometer is a great tool for telling if you're descending or ascending. The variometer will also change color if you're ascending too fast. Another key feature of the variometer is showing decompression ceilings when entering into decompression mode. To the right of the variometer is your actual depth. The next set of numbers below depth is your no decompression dive time remaining. Completing the upper half of the screen is the no decompression bar graph, also called a tissue loading bar graph. This is a visual representation of the no decompression time just above it, which is the amount of time you can stay at your current depth without needing to perform a decompression stop. The graph starts with all segments in a green color. As your dive progresses and you're getting closer to entering decompression, each of the four segments representing 25 minutes of no decompression time will slowly disappear until you reach the last segment. At that point, the last segment will turn yellow as a warning that you're close to entering decompression. Alternatively, as you ascend, the segments will potentially reappear and turn green as you get further from a decompression dive. Let's now look at the information on the bottom half of the screen or below the no decompression bar graph. The first set of numbers is your actual dive time in minutes and seconds. The number below is your time to surface in minutes. The time to surface is a combination of how many minutes it'll take for you to reach the surface at a safe ascent rate of 33 feet per minute, plus any decompression time and your safety stop. The last number on the screen is your actual water temperature. Now let's look at the additional information. When you rotate the digital crown, below the Nodico bar graph, you can see a series of secondary screens that'll be displayed. The next screen shown is maximum depth achieved, current ascent rate, and battery status. Scrolling further will also display nitrox tracking if the dive is set to nitrox and the compass feature. Using the compass feature is quite simple. Your current heading is at the top and always prominently visible. To set a heading, press the orange action button. When you deviate from the set heading, you'll see an arrow and the degrees of deviation displayed in blue to either side of your heading. You can use the degrees of deviation to navigate underwater, such as following a reverse course from your set heading. To clear the set heading, press the action button once more. The last secondary screen shows your current gradient factor setting, your gas type, and your max PPO2. Scrolling the crown downward will bring you back to the top of the main display. Before you start your ascent, let's talk about alerts and warnings. Yellow alerts are critical to your dive but can be dismissed by pressing the action button, while red alerts require the diver to take immediate action and cannot be manually dismissed. 
Both yellow and red alerts will pop up full screen for one second before shrinking to the lower half of the screen. Examples of yellow alerts are target depth reached, low no deco time, and safety stop. Examples of red alerts are fast ascent rate or maximum operational depth. Now let's start your ascent until you've reached your recommended safety stop. Notice as you're ascending, the variometer spins upwards. Looks like you've now reached your safety stop target depth. Perfect, now wait until the yellow countdown timer has reached zero to safely ascend and finish the dive. Once you reach three feet from the surface, a dive summary is immediately visible on your Ultra. This includes an easy to read dive profile, surface time, no fly time, elevation, and more. It also automatically syncs to your iPhone logbook. At this point, you've completed your first dive with Oceanic Plus. Thank you for watching this tutorial. You can get additional information by watching other tutorials or going to our FAQ page at www.oceanicworldwide.com forward slash Oceanic Plus. Enjoy every day, every dive with Oceanic and Oceanic Plus.